All right, so I'm gonna make an updated video. Uh, a while back I posted a video about this uh, UEI 50th anniversary meter. And uh, I've always really liked this meter. The only thing it seemed to do was whenever I was gonna try to test a capacitor, it seemed like it took forever for it to finally auto range into the right function. And somebody commented on the video that I posted, this has been a while back, uh, that maybe I just didn't have the range or something set right. So uh, I dug it back out and I tried it again. So we're gonna try it again and see, see what happens. Uh, so he was right in the, in the comment. Let's see, we'll select. So this was the setting here. So that's nanofarads. And so if I try to read a capacitor on that setting, it's interesting that it actually starts out in nanofarads. Uh, it's, see, it eventually gets there. Uh, let's see, I know that's a, it's a 40 plus five capacitor, but if you try to read the 40 side of it, sometimes it just does all that guessing and trying to figure out and eventually gets there so and then you can just about forget it this is a a start capacitor i can't remember what the range is on this one but see how long you there it finally did it but uh so sometimes when you're reading the start capacitors it don't even uh read those properly like most of the time it just sits there and thinks about it and it never gives out a range or the proper reading let's see so what we'll do is we're going to change the range using the range button all it's doing is moving the decimal point over now we're in uh, microfarads and so if I move it to right there sorry about the light and then we check uh, from common to harm on this one it, it's pretty fast and then I've uh, move it one more time for checking. Uh, now we're just in a single digit range. We'll check the start capacitor and see how fast it is. That's a heck of a lot faster than it was. It's never been that fast before. So now I like this meter again. Because that's the only thing that, that's really ever given me a hard time was the... Uh, it eventually will read it. See how fast that is? I'm really impressed with that now. So, uh, I appreciate the guy in the comment that uh, said try switching the ranges and seeing if that would affect anything, and it did. Um, like I said, this is supposed to be an auto ranging meter, and it does eventually get there when it realizes that we're not uh, checking nanofarads or something that's really small. Uh, so. I think that from in the from now on in the future, I'm just going to check uh, starting capacitors and things like that, uh, and I'll just select the proper range that I would like to use at that point. Uh, but I appreciate it, and I hope y'all have a good day. Thanks.